What's up nerds, I'm Wes with Neverboard Gaming, and I'm going to be showing you Insert Here's storage solution for Pulsar 2849. Alright, let's get you a look inside this box. You see on top you have your board as well as all of your rule books and appendices. First thing, this plate right here, I actually added myself. I've got plenty of foam core laying around because when you take it off, you can see there's like a little lip right here. That's the perfect size for a piece of foam core. So it's not a huge deal to make that lid, but I felt like without it, this insert just wasn't quite doing it for me. You've got these little player aids just kind of resting on top here. And now you have the actual insert. So all these things pop out hold everything really nicely lots of organization the ones twos and threes are all separated out and then you also have every player gets their own little tray for their stuff i love it when inserts do this where you can just say all right who's playing you're green you're purple let's do this so it really does help with quick start you've got this stuff all organized here let's get these out of the way now, this is a really interesting game because the board is so weird. There's all these loose tiles. So I do think that this was kind of the best solution for that, was just to have a box that just holds all this stuff in here. And while it's not perfect, you know, it rattles around a little bit, it, it is, in my opinion, the best way to store all of this. And you've got these bigger pieces here at the bottom. It is a little, I don't want to say finicky putting back together, but there is a very specific way that's not totally apparent from the get-go. There is diagrams and pictures on the Insert Here website, so you know it's not hard to look up how to do it. And I think once you've done it once, it's pretty obvious, or at least easy to remember, as I'm messing up putting it back right there. All right, and there you go. So things I think he did really well. Again, I really love these player trays that pop out that just give each player the ability to, you know, have everything contained right here, have this in front of them, keep the table clean, and just really quick start from there. Um, my biggest gripe is honestly this lip right here, where this definitely is not an insert where you want to store your game vertical. Now, again, if you build a little lid for it like I did, you could probably get away with it. But I, I still don't know if I quite trust it to be a vertically stored game. So if that's your thing, then, you know, keep that in mind when you buy this insert. However, the other good thing it has going for it is that I haven't seen any more inserts for Pulsar. And again, it's a really weird designed game. Not like weird in a bad way, but just unique the shape of the board and the state of the table. So this really is probably the best way to store this. And I'm really happy that I have this and I'm happy with how we put it all together. And there you have it. If you have any questions about this insert, make sure you put it in the comment section down below. We do have a full review on Pulsar. We'll have a card popping up to that as well as a link in the description box just below the link where you can buy this insert if you're interested in it. Regardless, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored.